Next question, what is the range of hx? And hx gives us uh, a third to the power of negative x plus 2. Now, again, the range refers to what can y, what can the y values be? Well, we know that, if, that a base and an exponent can, will always be larger than zero. It cannot be zero or less than zero. Okay? It will always be larger than zero, even if it has a negative exponent. Now, if we, that's not hx, hx also has a plus 2. So, if we now do that, that is larger than 0. But if now I now continue to add a 2, so that I actually have h of x, then I just add a 2 on both sides. So, I can see that h of x, which is that expression, will always be larger than 2. So the y values, remember hx represents the y values, will be larger than 2. y will be larger than 2.